Get one if you need it. It's a day for technology and teamwork for these seventh grade science students at Shahala Middle School. So if it's facing this way, where would, how would we need to turn it to go that way? Students are learning how to program tiny robots called spheros to navigate through a kind of obstacle course, a series of geometric patterns, all while changing colors and emitting pre-programmed sounds along the way. It's fun because like you get to program it to do whatever you like want it to do. The lesson allows technology to become a tool for learning. Remember, it's trial and error. So if you don't get it the first time, you just go back and you adjust. It's called refactoring. The kids right now, they're learning scientific inquiry skills. They're learning about variables. They're learning how to, they're all learning how to problem solve. They're learning engineering skills. They, they can put these basic things, like later on in life they're going to say, okay, well I remember back when I was doing the Spherobot lab that I had to break these steps apart. I had to chunk it apart. I had to identify where the problem was before I could make a solution to that problem. So they're able to start off with those just very basic skills of being able to identify what exactly is going wrong and how they can fix that. Students tackle problems through trial and error. It wasn't like, going fast enough or it wasn't like the right angle to hit the sticky note so sometimes it would go like where it wasn't supposed to go so we just changed the speed and angle by a little uh, bit and then we got it to hit the sticky note. And then we had it roll for 135 degrees at 300, 135 degrees so it can turn right and the speed was at 60 for two seconds so it can be somewhere in the circle. And it's not just learning geometry and physics concepts along with computer coding skills. Students are using one-to-one -one learning devices to share their work by uploading videos of their spheros in action to a PowerPoint presentation, and then sharing their work with their teacher using Google Classroom. Some students even use a simple graphics program to map out some of the things they want their sphero to do. Kind of draw on it, and you could draw what shape you want to do, or draw like what colors it wants, what we want it to be at every single turn. And with this hands-on use of technology, students have those aha moments that can come from working collaboratively as a team. And they're also learning skills like teamwork, life skills like that, how to work together, how to bounce ideas off of one another. And that's what we do in the science community, in the engineering community. All right, start it.